Today we're going to do a factory reset on the Blackview 9100 phone. To do this, if you put your finger on the screen and swipe to the left, it brings up another set of icons, and one of those is the settings. Click on settings, and notice if you scroll all the way up to the bottom, it will have the word system. If you click on system, and go down to where it says the word advanced, and click on advanced, it brings you up to some reset options. You're going to click on that, and now you want to do erase all data factory reset. Down at the bottom, you'll see where it says Reset Phone. You'll click on that. And it's going to give you one last chance to back out, but you're not going to. You're going to go ahead and erase everything by clicking that button right there. And then the screen will turn black. The word Blackview comes up. And it is now starting the procedure to erase all of the things that are on the device. Now you'll see a little circle about the size of a half dollar. That is going to disappear in just a moment. That is showing you the procedure is still in progress. When it comes up with the blue screen that says hi there, that completes the erasing part of the phone. But now we're going to start putting everything back together again. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is connect to Wi-Fi. So there'll be a list that's populated with the Wi-Fi that's uh, available. I'm going to click here on that one. And I'm going to click the box that says show password so that I can see what I'm typing in. Simply hit connect. It's going to spend just a little bit of time looking for some updates. Might take just a few minutes. Now it's going to ask you if you want to copy the apps and data. This is very important. At this point, you hit don't copy. Checking info. You're going to skip this next step. It is something you can add later on if you want to put in a Gmail account. But for right now, we're going to hit skip. We're going to hit skip again. These are the Google services that it's going to have some things that are turned on. You're going to leave those things turned on and simply hit the word more at the bottom. And hit the word more again. And then hit the word accept. It's going to now want you to put some security measures in. I'm going to suggest at this point you just skip those for right now. We'll hit the word skip. We're going to hit not now. We're going to hit skip anyway. Adding just a few little finishing touches and now it is back to the home screen. It's going to ask you if you would like it to access your phone call logs. You hit the word allow. So we're now back to the normal screen the way it was designed to be from the factory. However, a couple of things I'm going to suggest to you. If you go to the settings, click on that, you may want to do uh, display and bring the brightness screen up a little bit more. So click on brightness and scroll that little bar all the way to the right. I like to click on adaptive brightness and I like to turn that off by just sliding that little bar there. Click your back arrow, that takes you back to your display screen again. Under the word advanced at the bottom, you'll see it has the word sleep, so I'm going to click that. This is how long it takes the screen to go black. I'm going to click sleep, and I don't want it to go black after one minute, I want to do 30 minutes. I'm going to do one more thing, this is up to you, but I suggest it. Go to your font size, 
And I'd like to scroll that all the way to the right. That's going to make the font size the largest that it can be on your device. Click your little home icon down at the bottom. That takes you back to your home screen. And the app for the AOScan Mobile is not on there. We are going to now install that by doing the following thing. Where the Chrome button is, to the bottom right, the chrome is the one with the green, the red, and the yellow with a little blue dot in the middle. You're going to click on that. It's going to say, Welcome to Chrome. You're going to click Accept and Continue. And then you're not going to use the sync. You're going to hit No Thanks. Up at the top, you'll see it says the word Blackview. If you click on that, that will disappear. And now it allows you to type using the keypad the following, app.aoscan.com. Click your blue arrow. And that should start the program loading into the device. You'll see the uh, little infinity sign with the white dots circling around it. That will scroll for just a few minutes because it's loading the whole program from start to finish onto the device. This will take you to your sign-in page, but look at the bottom. It says something very important. It's going to say, Add AOScan to Home Screen. You're going to click on that. It's going to ask you again, Add to Home Screen. Click Add. It'll come up one more time that says Add Automatically. So that will put it on your home screen now. I'm going to go ahead and sign in by clicking the little blue button there. And then where it says Choose Login Provider, you're going to click the infinity sign or the AOScan mobile logo right there. This brings up the login page where it's going to ask you for your username and your password. Now when you put your username in or your password, it is case sensitive, so. Once it's in, you just hit the little button that says sign in. It's now going to ask if you would like to save your password. This is up to you, but we strongly suggest that you save it because you'll be doing this many, many times in the future. This takes you back to the main scan page. At the top, because we've done a factory reset, your information won't be there at this point. It's been saved to your account, but right now it's going to say Guest Client. So if you click Guest, it's going to take you down to where you have the option of either putting in a new client or existing client. I'm going to go to existing client because I'm already in there. I'm going to click on First Name and click the little bar down here, put my first name in, and hit the word search. This brings up my picture and my name. If I click there, it has my whole profile. Now this is very important. It's going to say that it wants to use your camera. You must allow that for your camera to work. So click allow. It's now going to ask you to allow again for Chrome to take pictures and record video. Click that. And then if you'll scroll up, you hit the word next. That takes you back to the main scan page, ready to scan. But there's one more thing that you need to allow. It's only on the inner voice. It's If you click inner voice and click on the microphone, it will come up with another prompt that asks you to allow the microphone. Hit allow, and that's going to say allow Chrome to record audio. Allow audio. That's going to run for 10 seconds and shut off. And then you'll see at the end of that, it will have populated the little bar graph 
just like this. So now we know that that is working. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit my home button. It's the setup, but there's one thing that we want to do, and that is it's put the AO scan app over to the right where we want it to be on that page right there. So all you do is you put your finger on it and move it over to that page. You can put it right there. And that completes the total reset and set up again of the AOSCAN mobile device. Thank you.